Okay, folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center today. And I've got a special guest. I've got Chuck from A-Liner. We're going to turn it over to him in a bit to talk about the A-Scape by A-Liner. For any more information on this particular trailer or any other RV, be sure to ask for Paul, the Air Force guy, when you stop by, if you call, or if you email here at Beckley's Camping Center. So let's go ahead and turn it over here to, to Chuck. Chuck. Welcome to Beckley's. Appreciate you doing this little uh, impromptu. No problem. Where at all. would we like to start, sir? Well, we'll start right here at the front, and this is our uh, newest offering at A-Liner, so the A-Scape, our first venture back into travel trailers in a few years, and uh, we couldn't be any happier with the way this little unit's come out. Um, starting up here in the front, you can see we got uh, a battery rack up here. You guys got two rack, uh, poles here where your battery sits. Uh, these wires obviously connect to your battery. This is your wiring harness that's going to hook up to your tow vehicle eventually. You got two 20 pound propane tanks that are standard and that comes with the auto changeover. So when one tank uh, runs out, basically just kicks right over to the second tank and you don't have to worry about it. Um, you got your spare tire carrier uh, up in the front underneath the uh, front half of the camper here. That's a full size spare uh, on an aluminum rim. So it looks exactly like the wheels that we've got on the sides. Um, as far as construction is concerned, um, on the front roof panels, which is basically one piece from the very front to the very back of this roof panel is all one piece. That's a four layer uh, lamination. So you've got aluminum skin on the outside. That's backed by an Asdel composite, which is a, a composite material. It's real lightweight. You got your foam insulation in the center and then your interior layer again is another layer of Asdel. So you've got no wood in the construction of the roof panel at all. And you've got uh, nice lightweight panels up here that are uh, super sleek looking and one piece aluminum from front to back. So that, that Asdale is in place of where other manufacturers will use Luon. The Asdale is 50% lighter and it does not absorb water. Correct. Yeah, but it doesn't absorb water and it's actually got um, uh, insulating factors too. So it also Absolutely. increases the insulation factor for the roof. Um, on the side walls, we're using a uh, gel coat fiberglass on the sides. And that is again backed by Asdell. Uh, your interior layer is going to be these foam sty uh, styrofoam insulation again. And then your interior layer here is one layer of Luon. Uh, we use the Luon in the inside because we like our cabinets to get a good grip when we're screwing cabinetry and stuff into the sidewall. So a uh, four layer process here, but you do have one layer of wood on the sidewalls. Um, as far as features are concerned, you've got LED lights all the way around um, on the exterior, front and back, brake lights also. Uh, you got a fresh water tank here, which is 11 gallons. Uh, you've got a six gallon gas uh, water heater, and that's a direct spark. So you, you've got a switch on the inside where you just flip the switch and your uh, water heater comes on. Um, you've got a rubber torsion axle uh, that is uh, your undercarriage here. And that is nice because it allows each wheel to act independently of the other. Instead of a, a straight axle with a leaf spring, uh, these wheels are independent. So as you're going down the road, you've got better uh, better contact with the road and you got a smoother tow while you're traveling. Full size 13 inch tires and wheels again aluminum rims are standard and 10 inch electric brakes are also standard so for your smaller tow vehicles you've got the safety and comfort of having electric brakes. Come around here to the back side we've got stabilizer jacks um, all the way around so you got two back here in the back and you've got two up in the front. Uh, you've got a small little five foot awning that comes, uh, rolls out back here and covers your entry door. You got a little uh, lock in place to keep your uh, traveling door uh, closed, and then you've got your screen door also on the back side, so you got a nice amount of ventilation while you're inside. We'll finish up outside over here. Uh, you've got an outside shower. Uh, there is the water heater like we talked about on the other side. So you got hot and cold running water outside. Um, this is where your detachable power cord hooks up. So uh, instead of having the old style where you had to work the cord back through a little hole, this one just attaches, you wind it up and then put it underneath the vent. So it's a lot easier for storage and, and re-hooking up. Up here, you've got your fresh water connection. This is gonna be if you're using uh, the park or the campgrounds water, you just hook a hose up here. And then you've got a cable TV hookup. And on the inside, uh, we'll, well show so now, you. Now, a question for you here. Sure. So you, so you see, if you're hooking up to water, you have this. However, you do have a, a fresh water holding tank in we the do. event that you were going to dry camp, right? We do, yeah. We've actually got a fresh gallon tank that uh, you can travel with up to 11 gallons of fresh water. 
and then there's also a gray water tank of 13 gallons. So, well, now the question is so you have 11 gallon fresh water, but you have a six gallon water heater, so you could totally have a total of 17 gallons. You could travel with up to 17 gallons of fresh okay. water total if you need to. Yeah. Well, how would you empty your gray water in, in the event that? Um, because you have a gray water tank, 13 gallon? We do have a gray water tank and the, and the uh, release for that and the drain is right here underneath. You just basically take the cap off and pull the valve and uh, empty your gray water from there. So um, I guess one last thing on the outside is here we should probably show you. I know you did on the other video, but we've got a little uh, solar panel up on the top that's a standard feature and that basically is going to charge, keep your battery at a full charge at all times. So. Um, and there's a battery tender to, to monitor that as well. Yeah, right down here. So on the front. Awesome. Nice little feature to keep your battery uh, life up and keep your lights and everything running when you're not plugged in. Okay, on the inside, what we got here going, Chuck? We've got all kinds of good stuff in here. This is a basically a 10-foot living space on a 13-foot frame, but we've packed pretty much everything in here that you would see in a full-size travel trailer. So. This one just came in. We don't even have the cushions out of the plastic yet, but you've got uh, what ends up being a queen size bed here, 77 inches long by 64 inches wide. So that's over a queen size bed. And considering this is about a 10 foot living space, that's pretty impressive. Um, you've got a TV and a sound bar, of course. So we've got the cable hook up outside, TV and sound bar here. Um, we've got LED lights that run underneath both sides of the cabinetry. And those work from these switches here, which are dimmable, so you can either uh, just touch the button to turn the lights on or off, or hold the button to dim the lights up or down, which is a pretty nice feature. And then as far as the galley's concerned, we've got probably the largest sink in any small travel trailer out there with an extendable uh, faucet. Uh, we went with the largest sink possible in case you need to wash up in here. The only thing this camper doesn't have is an interior shower, which uh, we went with a large sink in the outside shower based on, on size, of course. And then the one thing we did add, which is a surprise, is the cassette toilet. So if you open up your cabinets, uh, you do actually have a functional uh, bathroom here. That's got a five gallon uh, holding tank as well. And when you're not using it, you just basically take the snap down and you can cover up the toilet so you don't have to, don't have to look at it. Uh, you got a two burner stove. So you got one, uh, two burners here. You got a microwave up top, and then you've got a three cubic foot electric refrigerator or three way refrigerator. That's got a small freezer in the top, and it's all push button controls. You basically can set that to auto, and that'll find any power source you have, either uh, propane, electric, or you can even keep it cold on 12 volt while you're driving. So, the nice thing about this unit, too, is um, for a small unit, it's got a six foot four interior height. Uh, even when you're underneath the air conditioner, you can stand up all the way. How tall are you, Chuck? I'm six foot two. So okay. uh, comfortable for a uh, wide range of customers, and plenty of plenty of room in a in a small small unit. So I guess that's about it. Uh, again, Escape is a super lightweight towable vehicle. It's about only 1,600 pounds, and it's jammed full of standard features. And uh, we'd appreciate it if you come out to Beckley's and take a look at it. Well, folks, there you have it. Thanks, Chuck, for coming out. For any more information on this camp or any others, please do remember to ask for Paul, the Air Force guy, when you call, when you email, or you stop by. And please check out my how-to videos as well as my product recommendations. Thanks for watching, and we'll come back at you again shortly.